Hello there pinballers, welcome back again. My name is Nick, we're on the Pinball Arcade. If you look at the last few tables on Season 6 on the PlayStation 4, this one's Table Pack 60, Cactus Jacks, based on the real-life table from Gottlieb in 1991. Well, this game's got two flippers on it, two ramps and two different types of multi-balls, and it's got a fruit multiplier that can be activated by uh, hitting the drop targets there. What is the theme of this? Well, I'm not 100% sure. It's based around fruit to a degree, but Cactus Jack is some guy that I guess lives in the desert. That's as best as I can do for you. On the um, flyer, I think it says yee which seems to back up the American theme. So, Cactus Jacks, let's see what this one is all about. There's certainly a lot of lights flashing on this one, so it gets an excitement factor of woo. Nice back glass there as well. Good shading on these PlayStation 4 tables. Yeah, so you'll see on the right there's a different levels of fruit. We can activate those by hitting the drop targets to get up there for higher scores. Uh, some pop bumpers up the top right as well, and the ball loses straight away. Well done, Nick. That was a bit tough. Cool, we were almost lost a quarter. It's a ball two straight away. Come on, Nick. Right, there's lots of different views you can experiment with this. I've done a goal already. Seems to have quite mad speech. Right, here it goes. Concentrate, Nick. We've got two ball multiple already. I don't quite know how. We've hit something. Yeehaw! Right, so, there's a couple of ramps there. There's a gap in them slightly to the left to get through. Oh, man, I'm losing balls quickly here. This might take maximum concentration. It's more fun to compete. Right, this is ball three. Man, this, this is one of those difficult tables, I think. Nice cacti on the pot bumpers. That's a nice touch. What have we activated there? I'm not quite sure what we activated there. Um, I'm not finding this table very easy to know what to do. And it's game over already. Hmm. There are better tables available, but this isn't too bad, I suppose. It's better than uh, Al's Garage Bands Goes on a World Tour we did last week. Let me know if you played this a lot, you might know um, a bit about it. I'm not quite sure what the production run it was on this one. If you know, then let me know below. Bit of homework for you. Right, let's try and do better than last time, which was quite easy to do, I would have thought. Cactus Jacks. Hmm. Right, let's just concentrate on getting those um, curses. Concentrate on getting those drop targets. Are they going to reset each ball? Or are they going to stay down? Have a look. No, they reset after each ball. So you need to do it uh, incomplete. Now, my favourite table for drop targets is quite a bit basic table called Big Shot. Check that one out. We reviewed that on the PlayStation 3 quite a while ago. Very oldly, oldly table, that one. This... Right, it's giving me German talk. Is Cactus Jack a German? 1991, this table. Diddly diddly dear. Not quite sure what I'm doing here. Anyway. I think we're doing a thing up the top there. Missed you. Right, oops. Multi ball was quite brief again. Two ball, multi ball. I think there is a multi-ball bit where you play with more than one ball. If you play this in real life, then let me know. Is this your favourite table of all time, or does it fall quite some way short? But really, concentrate on getting the fruit. It's going to take a few goes, I think, to work out exactly what to do and the secrets of this table. Not the most attractive table in the world, but it sure is colourful. Yes. Right, let's get a bit better at aiming keep these balls in play. Multi-ball seems quite easy to activate. The best bit is getting those cacti to dance up there. On the two-player multi-ball, you can get the whole band to dance, which is happening on the very back of the table. Right, we're doing a bit better keeping these in this time. So there's a couple of routes up the top there, aiming between the bumper straight through, or a bit to the left to go round the back of them. Oh, no. 
a game of skill, it says. Well, I'm taking the mickey out of that a little bit. Uh, my skill isn't overly brilliant. And that's two goals already. 1.7 million. That's not even on the high score chart. Of my high score chart, anyway. Uh, I'm not going online, because that would be, um, well, we've been rated 62 billion and five. And there's not even that amount of people that have played it. So many lights on this. If you owned it in real life, I think um, it wouldn't take very long to get some shorts in the lights. They're everywhere. On the pop bumpers, on the play field. It's party time. It's all about the fruit, folks. Yoo-hoo! It's all about the fruit. Now, come on. Come on, Plunger. Get there. Right. Here we go. Good. So, uh, there's a little hole on the right there, you can see, if you get that, try and get it again at some point, you can activate stuff if you do it at the right time. Now, pinball isn't all about um, smashing the flippers for all your worth. You can try and hold the ball to get a bit of a, a breathing space if you want, but try and time it right. If you time it wrong, the ball's coming down too fast, it will go over the end of the flipper and drain down the middle. So take your time to aim if you can. Try and find out bits about the table. Surprise, Inkabudjord. Whatever that was. Right, there we go. So, what are we going to aim for here? Trying to get it round the back. Boom! So, there's two activation holes. Right. Let's make those guys dance up the back there. They're the main captors jack band. Right. Yeah, I'm sort of like slowly understanding what's going, going on. So, is a... There is a learning curve with most tables. We'll hold that here and just muck about with one ball for a bit. Might have to launch that one on the roll. Oh, they're both there. Okay. It was a good idea. Boof. See if we can catch another one by a bit more time again. Might have a chance there. No, no. Thought we was going to have one there. They bounced against each other, which caused a bit of a problem. Good, right. Oh, so much for tactics. It was a good idea in theory, wasn't it? Just buy yourself a bit of a breather. Pew! Not too much to activate this. I, I don't think there's a great deal to do. You've got the pop bumpers, you've got that um, sinkhole. Uh, one down the bottom there to the right and one near the top there. The three pop bumpers and the dancing uh, weirdness up the back there. That's pretty much it and a couple of multi-balls. There's no real super end game here. I would have perhaps, uh, we do another goal, I would have perhaps expected something a bit more from a table in 1991. It was during the uh, pinball revolution, the tables were really advancing at a hell of, hell of knots. It's not one of Gottlieb's best ones, but it, it's okay. If someone offered me the real life table for free, I'd take it off them, but I wouldn't know where the hell I'd put it. Uh, I don't know what the relevance of the German talk is. If you know, then let me know. Is Cactus Jack some sort of base on a comic or some show? Not sure. It gives it a bit of uniqueness though, I suppose. Boing. Crazy music going on in the background, which is nice. This is where the Pimble Arcade tables quite often win over the uh, Pimble FX tables or Zen Studios tables in that they have dynamic music which changes during the game. Um, the Pimble FX is a bit more, um, should we say, generic. This one is like a live table. Okay, right. Experiment with your best views on this. Some people like to see as far away as they can get it. Seems to be most of the table. I try and make it so it's easier to play and also you can see at least a bit of the table. Experiment with a few of the angles there as we go through. Don't know what he's saying. Yahoo, perhaps. So it's USA meets Germany in some unlikely uh, acts. Quite often you have to nudge the table if you can in time to prevent a drain. Uh, as you know by now, if you nudge it too much, so it's happening. If you nudge it too much, the game will go on tilt and the electrics are cut out and that's it. You're cheating too much. You can only get away with a bit of nudging. All these tables have a pro mode you can buy as well, which lets you get into the inner workings of the table and tweak stuff as if you owned it for real. But I, I don't think it's particularly worth it for the money involved. Season 7 is out um, on the PlayStation 4, but not all of the season. So um, after we review this one and the next one, which I think is Sword of Fury, there might be a bit of a gap before I buy Season 7. I'm only going to buy it once they release the whole of the season. 
and fast sight tend to be a bit slow and stuff, so I don't know when that's going to be. But the best table by far I can see on it is Ghostbusters, so I'd like uh, to get talk to that. I have to admit though, the tables in the earlier seasons were a lot, lot better. I think we're coming up to a lot of um, just so-so tables. Uh, that's not to say I wouldn't mind seeing The Simpsons, Star Wars, Jurassic Park and Indiana Jones. But they, they are big licenses, those ones, so whether they'll be able to do it quickly, I do not know. Please do it. Boof. Season 6 is okay. There's a few um, knockout tables, but quite a lot of ones a bit like this. We can take them or leave them, really. Oh dear, ball's gone. Green display. It's like an early, it's an early video display, not like a dot matrix. Yep, so there we go. I think we'll leave that one there. Hope you liked having a look at that. That was the Pinball Arcade on the PlayStation 4. Season 6, Table Pack 60, Cactus Jacks, based on the real life table by Gottlieb from 1991. If you've got any comments about this table, any uh, other tables in the season or ones to come, then please put your thoughts below or any other pinballing or gaming news you might have. And until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.